Hi. Ian's date is 30-year-old barmaid, Amy. Flirting skills are, uh, like, wear something really booby. <laughs> All my friends are, like, married, having children. But with me, I'm, like, single, <laughs> living by myself. Divorced before I'm 30, not many people can say that. I'm also the self-proclaimed crazy cat lady. I have to tell boys that I like cats because it's a, such a big part of me. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> Come and see my cats. <laughs> oh la la! Do you not cold? <laughs> no. No, I'm so nervous. <laughs> You're looking amazing. Thank you. So do you? Lovely suit. You ready for this? <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say I have a type. I like traditional men, men that come and like open your door for you and you know, let you sit down first, things like that. Tall men, someone that dresses nicely, that keeps himself well, well presented. I let you go, good luck. Thank you so Take much. Care. Hi. Hello. Are you my date? I am. Oh, I've got like, the clammiest hands. Well, How's it going? Nice to meet you. You too. Good, thank you. I'm, gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Are you all right? I will be. Yeah, you will be. What have you gone for? I've yeah. just gone for a basic beer today. OK, um, I would please like a gin and tonic. Thank, thank you. Where have you come down from today? Uh, Peterborough. Stop it. That's have you I'm come from, from Peterborough? Yeah. No way. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm in Baston. OK, you live in the next village to me. You're joking. Nope. How have we never met before? I have no idea. Well, I lived in Stamford. You look a gorgeous, bit. by the way. Thank you. So do you. Nice outfit. Thank you. Oh, my God, I've only lost your name yet. It's Ian. <laughs> Ian. Amy. Amy. Oh, this is such a small world, isn't it? So how long have you been single? <laughs> uh, 18 months. OK. How long have you been single, then? Um, really, really properly single. I'd say about two and a half years. OK. Yeah. So... I'm divorced. Same. Twice. <laughs> Top trumps, eh? <laughs> you win. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to being divorced. <laughs> Lol, how many cats you got? Oh, dear, one. <laughs> Have you got a cat? Two. Oh, look, cool. Should I take you through? You most certainly could. Yes. That would be lovely. Oh, After you. This is quite a good one on the film. <gasps> Hello, boy. Oh, my God, he's gorgeous. Love cats. Do you? Yes. I'm all about that. This is my cat Simba. <laughs> I think if a cat's orange, you've got to call it Simba right now. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, enjoy your steaks, guys. Thanks. <laughs> right, dig in. Oh, my gosh. Good. That good? Little food gasm. <laughs> <laughs> I love meat. I mean, that sounds wrong, but... <laughs> I eat. I, yeah, I love meat, too. <laughs> Actually, after I got married, I did... I put on a lot of weight. Not, like, <coughs> loads, but, like, enough for me to not be happy about it. Yeah. So do you mind talking about your marriage? Yeah, I was with them for, like, nine years. OK, long time. Married for 18 months. Yeah. And then it all went peak tongue. <laughs> all went wrong. We'd been out to watch Leicester Tigers with my family. We had a great day, seemingly. We all came back to my house and had some food and... He went upstairs and showered. I'm like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> and um, then he just walked out the door. And my sister ran after him and he just was like, I can't do it anymore, this whole dramatic response. And, um, and that was the last time he was at home. It's hard when, well, obviously, you've been there when you, like, get married and you think, like, oh, this is it, like, this is fine. It's... Yeah. And then you get put into the position again, like, oh, I feel like a teenager again. Yeah. And it's, like, so starting it yeah. all over again. Yeah. yeah. It's things like telling your grandparents. <laughs> I actually made my dad do it. I couldn't do it. Um, yeah, it's hard. It's in, more than anything, it's embarrassing, I think, cos you've had this lavish wedding. And you ask all your friends and family to come, and then 18 months down the line, you're splitting up. Oh, it's sad, but... just got to get on with it, haven't you? I mean, I'm willing to trust anyone, but there's always going to be a, a fear there, I think. You wouldn't be here today if none of the previous hadn't happened, would you? No. I'm happy I'm here. Do you know what? Blonde hair, brown eyes. Kind of my thing. Yeah? Yeah. Doesn't, like, make you who you are, though, does it? 
Not at all. I could dye my hair tomorrow and it'd be brown. I'd still be the same person. Exactly. Less fun. <laughs> I'm I don't know. <laughs> I think you'd still be as fun. You seem quite fun. Good. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of love and romance.